Hey everyone, today is day 55 of Daily CGI. Welcome to the channel. Today I learnt a fair bit in Blender. First I learnt about an add-on that comes built in called Loop Tools that allows for some really nice mesh editing. Um, so I discovered this because while browsing the web for interesting objects to attempt to recreate in Blender for my daily practice, I came across some really old fluted teacups. So they're the type with the spiral-like grooves in the cup surface all around the outside. Um, instantly I saw that as an opportunity to step up my knowledge base just in terms of how to create the geometry on these kinds of things, um, especially since last month I only learned how to create basic cups, mugs and glasses. This is definitely a step up from that. Uh, not that much more difficult, it's just something I literally had no idea how to make or create that uh, spiral effect for. So um, I found a decent tutorial from a YouTube channel called John Dickinson. The video is called How to Model a Teacup in Blender. I'll chuck a link in the description down below as always so you can check it out for yourself if you feel like it. Um, anyway, fingers crossed I'll be able to take what I learned while following this John Dickinson tutorial and apply it to my own practice when I'm trying to recreate similar objects that I find online. Um, anyway, I'll show you the final result, do a little uh, rotate around the object and go into uh, edit mode so you can see a bit more detail. Uh, it's just a basic material with a pink color applied to it and the roughness turned down somewhat so you get the reflection uh, some of the reflections in there it's nothing complicated uh, obviously you can go for a more complicated look um, depends on if you're working from reference and what you're trying to achieve with it uh, but I kept mine simple since the focus is on the uh, shape itself in, in this case as opposed to intricate decorations um, yeah that's what I went for uh, I like this method of creating the more complicated geometry um, as opposed to, I think there's other methods where you could basically do this through a uh, through the material system, but I don't know, I like it like this. I'll eventually learn more materials as well, so maybe I'll be able to do it both ways, but this is pretty neat. Anyway, um... I'm going to keep it short, short and simple today. That's pretty much all I've got to show. Um, as always, if you enjoy these videos and you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to the channel and chuck us a cheeky thumbs up down below if you feel like it. It's always appreciated. See you in the next one. Awkward silence. See you next time.